For years, I've been heavily into the video game and nerd culture in general. I have an upright glass case in which I have my pop culture and video game related articles, such as a replica lightsaber and video game figures. I'm trying to meet a woman, and I'm horribly self-conscious about my glass case making me seem like a man-child, which I guess I am since I have this in my house. I'm trying to make change be more appealing to the opposite sex, and I feel like this glass case makes me seem immature. The problem is, my friends have given me many of these things. If I store their gifts away or sell them, I'm afraid they'll be a little hurt by it. How do I avoid hurting my friends' feelings while at the same time trying to present myself as an actual adult to potential romantic interest? That's from Glass Case of Emotion in Cincinnati. This is a damn good question. This is a good can question. I, can I real talk for a minute? Yeah, sure. Because I have like a real serious, non-funny answer. Oh, well, we haven't had any of those so far, so please. Okay, here's my real talk. It has nothing to do with the items in your home. I don't care what it is that you've collected or what it is that you have. It is the person that you are that determines whether you're perceived as that thing or not. I've known lots of people that had toys or sports memorabilia or anything, and that is not who they are. It's just something that they happen to like. To- I know a guy, one of the coolest guys I've ever known. He's a really successful director around town, has an awesome wife, and he has all these amazing little tin soldiers, and I've never looked at him and gone, oh, he collects toys? Well, what a nerd. that's fine, Travis, but it, there you have to recognize that there's a limit, like, in everything else to this mm-hmm. question, where if the things that you are collecting is, like, tentacle porn anime busts, then maybe yes, that's a bad. That's a that's going to be a turnoff for ninety nine point nine repeating percent of people in the universe. I have to say, I'm a big fan. I think he's already made the most important stride, um, and that is to put like you're displaying mm-hmm. in a in a glass case. Like that seems to me to be like okay, you're not. It's not a decorating motif, you know, which a lot of people go for. And if you want to, that's fine. But to me, that this seems like. Uh, a little more regimented. It's, it seems more grown up off. to me. You're saying this is my display. This is this part of my life. Yeah, it's not your whole that's life. Everything not it's in just... there doesn't belong to this part of my life. Yeah, it's it, it makes it makes it seem like a facet mm-hmm. of your character rather than just my personality is is I identify a, a as remixed. A yeah, exactly right. Now, if you're someone that, like, when you have someone over the house, the first thing you do is, now come look at my case. Like, well, then, yes, come, maybe that's not a good way to go. Yeah. Yeah. Try not to talk like comic book nerd from Simpsons. That's yeah. gonna. That's not going to help but you. But if it's anything. something where someone's like, oh, what's all this? Be like, oh, that's just, you know, stuff we've collected over the well, years. Well, no, because that there's got to be a happy meeting because you just sounded <laughs> nope. fucking ashamed. <laughs> oh, that's my shame. Oh, that? That's my sh- That's my case. That's my shame oh. rectangle. Please don't. <laughs> don't acknowledge it. <laughs> That's why I embarrassed Don't get box. on my case. Now that's just a little joke I make. Come on over. Hey, seriously. Hey, gundam. seriously. Get the fuck out of there. <laughs> that's limited edition. I said leave. <laughs> that's my Mad Mardigan Willow special edition figure. It was a chase item. He has, you see, only one eyebrow. That's worth $17. <laughs> um, Are you going to replace it? I didn't think so. I don't know. This is so alien to me. I'm such a big ass fucking nerd, and I, I don't know. This is something I feel like I struggle with a lot. Maybe less than I did when I was in college, but like I was, I've always been a big nerd, but I have never been fast to like, to show it, to like, have things displayed in my house that act as insignias for visitors. Like this is, this is the kind of shit I'm into. Yeah, it's funny, like, I have stuff, but I've never, like, crossed that line. Like, I have, like, one thing that if you're looking carefully, you'll see my collection of California raisins and Houdini (laughs) action figure and Doctor Who stuff. But, like, no one's going to see it surface level right away. This is, oh, man. See, I don't know. Like, I I feel like if you have things that make you happy, that, that is the most important thing. And that's who you are. And, like, I don't think, I think if you're holding on to stuff because your friends gave it to you, that's a bad reason to to hold on to things because I guarantee they don't care. I mean, they really don't. Yeah. I mean, also, no, you're... unless you're holding on to it because it means something to you because a friend gave it to you. Well, he used the but word again, store, like... <laughs> which isn't typically the word you use for sentimental presents. Yeah, sure. I'll yeah, fuck it. Put it. Yeah. Sure. How long? A month? Yeah, I guess. I I've put away so many. <laughs> I've put away my childish things. Mm-hmm. As I've grown older, and then I bought new things on eBay. I bought Captain Power toys because those are nostalgic for me, and they make me really happy. 
So like I have. So you basically them. Re- you refresh your stock of childish things, like the Bible mm-hmm. tells you so. I got that elite childish stuff that that uh, uh, seem more collectory. They they seem uh, like a, more like harder to to come like by. Like Fushigi balls. <laughs> no, those don't count. There is a difference between hiding something because you think the person uh, somebody's gonna think less of you. And hiding it because it's not the image of yourself that you want to put out there. Mm-hmm. Because I, I think that those are two different things. I mean, like, I I do think we have a I, I think we have a problem in a lot of facets of what people would call nerd culture of not being able to dis- distinguish between things you like and things that you are. Yeah. Um, you, and, I, and I think that I think it's just I think it's inherently unhealthy to self identify based on media consumption. Of any kind, because like if you do that with nerd shit and say you're a nerd, you're you're painting yourself into a corner. But like on the flip side, if you just watch independent art house films from the 1930s and say, oh that's that's the oh that's me, that's where I'm coming from is I'm independent art house movies film movies from the 1930s guy, like that that guy sucks too. Like that guy's not very great if that's the only thing that he uses to define the shape of his character. That's what I'm saying. Is I think the problem is is like when you have something any quality like that, it's overwhelming to it. Oh, I me, I'm jazz guy. You know me. Yeah. I'm jazz guy. I, I'm sports guy. Let me tell you all about my sports team because that's all I'm going to talk about for the next 2 hours because it's literally all I know. Like nobody likes that person no matter what it is. Start trying to put things in your house that keep people on their toes. That's what I'm Have a knife somewhere. Just somewhere. Half a mummy. Which have you asked? Player's choice. Player's choice, doesn't matter. 